Hi, boys and girls. It's Pastor Ed here with our children's message uh, for Sunday, February the 14th, which is Valentine's Day. Well, I'm not going to really talk about Valentine's, but I want to talk about something that is kind of near and dear to my heart, and that is sweet things for dessert. Do you have a sweet tooth? Oh, boy, Pastor Ed has a sweet tooth. Uh, sometimes too much of a sweet tooth. Uh, I like all kinds of things, pie and cake and, and some candies and um, even even fruits in nature that are sweet. I should eat more of those than, than the, the artificial things that we make. But I do have a sweet tooth. And one of the things that I like is pudding. Now, um, when I was a boy and my mother would make pudding, it was you had to boil it and you had to do it over the stove and it was real complicated. And then they came out with this. Can you see? It's jello chocolate pudding, but down at the bottom it says instant pudding. Instant pudding. Um, and let me see if I could find... There's directions. It only takes five minutes. You need... Uh, you you kind of have to have a bowl. And... Uh, Let's see, three cups of cold milk, and then the ingredients in the package, and you put uh, the milk and the powder of the pudding, the instant pudding, into the bowl, and uh, you use a whisk kind of a thing, um, you know, to, to sh spread it all around and, and even it out and mix the, mix the, the powder pudding in with the milk, and you mix it up real good. Uh, it says to do it for two minutes. And then um, you just let it sit. And it sets. And in five minutes, you have pudding. It's pretty simple. I don't know how they made pudding in the olden days. Like I said, even when I was a boy, my mother had to, had to boil it over the stove. You had the ingredients and this and that, and you boiled it, and you had it raised, you know, all that. Now, cold milk, a bowl, a whisk, shake it all around for two minutes, and then within five minutes, it's all set up and ready to go, ready to enjoy something sweet uh, to eat, either as pudding or you could put it in a, in a pie crust and have a, uh, uh, have a kind of a pudding pie, a chocolate pudding pie. In fact, my brother, my brother Dave, that's his, I think that's one of his favorite puddings. Again, the thing is, is it's so easy, so easy to do. It's almost like impossibly easy to do. Well, the story today uh, is from the Old Testament, and it's a story about a man by the name of Naaman. Um, and, you know, we're talking about instructions or directions that are really pretty simple. You just have to follow them. Real simple to do. Well, uh, again, in today's Bible study, we have a man by the name of Naaman who discovered that even something that was very serious in his life had a simple solution. Uh, you see, Naaman was the commander of the army of the king of Syria. And because he'd won many battles for his country, Naaman was very famous. And you might think, well, he had everything he wanted. He had this great reputation. I'm sure he was um, paid very well to be the commander, uh, but he had a serious problem. Uh, he had a disease called leprosy. Well, the good news is that he had a servant who suggested that he go to see uh, a prophet um, who was kind of like a religious leader. She said that, uh, you know, she knew that this prophet could probably heal him. So Naaman's king sent him with a letter to the king, the prophet's king, the king of Israel, to ask for help. Well, the king of Israel didn't know what to do. He was kind of scared that the king of Syria is asking him to do something he probably figured couldn't do. Leprosy is pretty serious. How, how, is, how in the world are we going to heal this general? And if I don't heal him, what's the king of Syria going to do to me? He's going to be mad at me. Um, but the prophet Elisha heard about the letter, and he told his king that he could heal Naaman. So Naaman went with his horses and chariots, and he waited at the door of Elisha's house. 
but Elisha didn't come out. He just sent out a messenger who said, go wash yourself seven times in the Jordan River and you will be healed. Sounds pretty simple. Um, did you ever have simple instructions? Maybe you were sick and so, you know, you, you take some aspirin or Tylenol or, you know, uh, cough medicine. Real simple. Um, almost unbelievably simple. Well, Naaman, it sounded too simple. I mean, he had a serious disease. He kind of expected like sort of a serious, complicated cure. And he was mad also that Elisha didn't even bother to come outdoors to meet him. Because uh, he thought Elisha would come out person, personally, person to person, maybe wave his hand over him or do something to make him better. Um, so Naaman initially refused to do what Elisha said. He was just so angry. I'm not even going to do that. That's silly. Wash seven times in the Jordan River. But Naaman's officers kind of had cooler heads and, and they convinced him, why don't you do it? You know, it, it's pretty easy. If it works, you know, that's pretty good. So what did he do? He went to the Jordan River, he dipped down in seven times, and lo and behold, he was healed. Simple answer. Couldn't believe it was that simple. At first didn't even want to do it. But then when finally his officers convinced him to do it, he found out, whoa, it actually worked. Um, life is like that sometimes. We face problems and we, we worry about them. We're, we're willing to try anything, but the more serious the problem, the more complicated we think the solution is. But so often, some of the things that we face in life um, can be solved simply by listening to God's Word, to following God's instructions. Um, God's Word has the solution for, in a sense, all of life's problems when you get right down to it. All you have to do is follow the instructions, to follow God's directions. So God teaches us how to live and to get along with other people. God teaches us what's important in life. And if we follow that, um, e even when difficult times come, we'll get through them. And most of all, we know that God is with us to help us get through them. So that's it. Uh, sometimes the easiest things in life, the simplest instructions, are actually pretty good, pretty important. And one of the simplest instructions is to listen to God, to, to read the Bible, to pray, and to listen to what God asks us to do in order to follow him. Let's close with a prayer. Dear God, when we face life's problems, help us to be willing to follow the directions that you've given us in the Bible. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. All right, I hope you guys have a great morning, and we'll see you again next Sunday. Take care. Bye-bye.